I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a new pistol class in town, and this is the Micro Compact. And when we say that, it's usually a 10 to 12 round, nine millimeter, typically under six inches in length, under four and a half inches in height. The latest entrant into the entire class, of course, is the Taurus GX4, which is an all new pistol design. It's got similarities to other Taurus guns in the past, but this was designed from the ground up to, to meet this market need. Now this particular gun has a 3.06 inch barrel. It's 5.8 inches long and 4.4 inches tall. That of course comes with an 11 round magazine. So this is a double stack that converts into a single stack as it gets up towards the front of the gun, made for Taurus by Mechgar. So the GX4 is unlike other Taurus guns in that it does not have a second strike capability. This is a true striker fired gun. And it has of course a blade and blade trigger safety here. And it, it's a little more vertical than we've seen on some of the other Taurus guns, but it takes a slight amount of pressure to depress the safety. Then it's about a seven and a half pound pull. Sometimes a little lighter, it depends. I've seen them go as low as six with multiple guns. But it's actually a pretty nice clean break. It's got a short reset. It's everything you're looking for in the trigger for a small self-defense semi-automatic firearm. So when you look at the Taurus Toro, of course you have a steel slide and they've done some clever things on the slide. Of course they have both rear and front cocking serrations, five in the front, four in the rear, but also the slide front is beveled to make going in and out of a holster easier because that's of course what this gun is designed for. Sights on the Toro version, which I have here of the GX4, consist of a drift adjustable, just plain black rear sight, and then a single white dot front sight. The front sight is retained by a simple screw and is replaceable. If you wanna add night sights, those are coming. But what sets this apart from, from the previous GX4 is the fact that you can put a red dot optic on it. Uh, there's not a whole lot of real estate here. We've mounted the small crimson trace on this particular example. But a red dot sight gives you more distance. Even though you have a short barrel, it gives you a single focal plane and allows you to make accurate shots at longer distance. And that's certainly the case with this gun. When you look at the frame of the Toro, you'll see that they've gone with the sort of the skateboard tape pattern. And this is very, very fine stippling. And those stippling's on the front strap that allows you to hold onto the gun, which is a good thing because this thing's kind of a handful in nine millimeter. But also on the back strap, you have the same texture pattern, but you can also replace it. And I'd say try them both and just see which one sits better in your hand. Takedown of the GX4 Toro is a little unconventional. Of course, you let the slide go forward and there's no traditional takedown or slide latch on this. All you have to do, of course, is to take a screwdriver and rotate this just slotted screw on the right side of the frame. Turn that, you'll feel something change inside the gun. Then, of course, make sure the gun's unloaded and you pull the trigger and the slide comes right off of the frame. When you pull the slide off, you'll see that there's a dual recoil spring arrangement with a sleeve helping to tame the recoil of this gun. And of course, the barrel locks up, you know, like the Browning High Power, 3.6 inches long. But when you look at the slide itself, you'll see this gun really has only two safeties. There's a passive firing pin safety, which mates up with a lever activated by the trigger that's mounted in the frame. And then of course you have the trigger blade and blade safety. When it comes to controls on this gun, on the outside you'll see that we have a reversible magazine release. And then of course you have your slide lock. And the only thing it does is of course lock the slide back. It doesn't perform any other functions. There's no decockers or anything else on this gun. It's, it's really a simple point and shoot gun, very well executed by Taurus. So one of the most important features on any carry gun is the width, how it prints on the body. And Taurus was able to keep this at right about an inch, 1.04 if you got your calipers out, which makes this gun very carryable. The thing about this gun is it has that 11 round magazine capacity and it's not too bad to shoot. But the thing that this has got going for it is it's about $150 less than its closest competitor. For more on firearms and shooting gear, go to AmericanRifleman.org.